if you divide the whole equation here by delta x, delta y, delta z, this part will be canceled out and you have delta x as the denominator. That part, you will have delta y as denominator. And you will have delta x, delta z as denominator as well. If you take a limit, okay, so if I divide everything by delta x, delta y, delta z, this one will be canceled out. You will have delta x here, delta y, and delta z. This term cancel out. Okay? After taking a limit, left hand side would remain the same. But the right hand side, the first term, the limit approaching delta x approaching zero should give you differential. Differential with respect to x. So it turns to be d of the row vx by dx. Second term would be d of row vy by dy and then d of row vz by dz. Can you see that? Okay, quickly, if I take the minus sign out, everything inside would be positive. All right, now, when you have three terms like this, you can reinterpret it as a dot a product of two vectors. One vector would be a vector of differentiation, which is del. The other vector would be a vector inside. Okay? So del dot rho v. Now if you look, this is a vector. This is vector. You multiply vector by scalar, you still get a vector. And vector dot vector, the result will be scalar. The left hand side, this is scalar. Okay? This equation is called equation of continuity. An equation of continuity is the first one of equation of change that can be applied to our system. If you apply equation of in continuity, it means that you are doing a mass balance around the whole system. So if you integrate equation of continuity, what you have would be macroscopic balance of mass. Okay? Or sometimes people write it down like this, d rho by dt plus del dot rho v equal to zero. Right? So, if density of our fluid is constant, the word constant here means it does not change with respect to two things. It does not change with respect to time. And it does not change with respect to position. So it, it is always constant. If it is constant, d rho by dt becomes zero, right? This term becomes zero. So from that equation of continuity, you get del dot rho v equal to zero. 
and del dot rho v is basically these three differential differentiation combined. As long as rho is constant, does not change with respect to position, you can take rho out. So I can take this rho out. Okay, once it's going out, it can be cancelled with this zero. As a result, you get del dot v equal to zero. Remember this? I told you when you use Newton's law, if you apply Newton's law for liquid, del dot v is zero. If you apply Newton law for gas, kappa is zero. And the reason where, the reason why del dot v is zero, is from this. Because density is constant means incompressible fluid, right? Density of fluid does not change. You cannot make it change, so it's constant. All the liquid can be treated as incompressible. So as long as it is com incompressible, then del dot v becomes zero by equation of continuity. This equation is always true. Okay, doesn't matter what kind of problem you use. This equation can be applied. And it is writing, I mean it is written in form of vector. So therefore you can take this equation in any coordinate. There will be rectangular coordinate, cylindrical and spherical coordinate for equation of continuity. These equations are listed in your appendix, appendix B. All right. So next time I'm going to do momentum balance to get another equation here. And then we will use these equations in the example. All right. Any question? If there is no question, next week we have no class because of the exhibition. We will see you again the week after next week. <laughs>